Welcome to another Sci-Fi Ship Control tutorial. Today we'll be talking about radar basics. Let's start by setting up a basic scene. Go to Demos, Models, Environment. Let's drag in the cityscape. And we'll add some mesh colliders to those. We'll add our player ship, so prefabs, ships, let's put in the vector ship, and let's just reset the value, the position, And we're going to go to the combat tab, scroll down to identification, we can change the faction ID to one, and we're going to say it's going to be visible to radar. We're going to hook up a camera for our player ship. So we're going to go to prefabs, environment, player camera, drag that into the scene. We're going to delete the main camera because we don't need that anymore. And on the player camera we're going to add our player ship so, it so the camera follows the player ship. And now we're going to add a turret to our scene on top of this building here. So we're going to go to prefabs, turrets, and we're going to add turret 2 onto the building here. It doesn't matter which building you choose, but we're just going to choose one of the taller ones. On the surface turret module, you'll see that the faction ID by default is 2, which is different to our player, because they're going to be the enemy. And you'll notice that is visible to radar is enabled as well. We can, we can also set up more complex scenarios like with Alliances that have multiple factions can be set up and configured in our extensive API which you, you can integrate with your own code. If we scroll down we can see that this surface turret module also has an auto-targeting module attached to it. Uh, and the, you'll notice that the module mode is surface turret. But you could also attach this auto-targeting module to a, a player or AI ship and they could take advantage of the radar system to auto-target nearby ships or turrets, etc. Now you'll see if we fly, fly near our turret, the turret fires our ship and it's destroyed. It would be useful if we could see the enemy turret on radar so in the scene hierarchy we're going to say create 3D object sci-fi ship controller SSC radar and then on the radar item we're going to expand general we're going to say initialize on start and we're going to give the radar a range of a thousand meters in any direction. Expand visuals we're going to set the screen locale to bottom right and we're going to click on mini map to create our on-screen radar map. We want the radar to move around as we fly our player ship around so we're going to expand movement and we're going to drag our player ship into the ship to follow. And we want our turret to be really obvious on the radar, so let's go back to our turret and we'll see radar blip size. Let's just crank that all the way up to 5. Now when we run our scene, we'll see the surface turret come into range on our radar 
and we can have a go at avoiding maybe flying under the radar around this point. Be sure to check out our powerful radar APIs that can be used to create more complex scenarios in code. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.